In today's video, guys, we are going to be upgrading three minions to tier 11. So make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video and enjoy. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Skyblock video here on Hot Pixel. Hopefully, guys are all having a great day. I'm joined here today with Safe Drift and Honeth. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic. How are you, Honeth? I'm doing decent. Doing decent. Honeth, you always sound depressed, man. What, what, what's going on? What's going on? It's just my mind is not, not, not sound always. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, anyways, guys, uh, let's get right into today's video because we have a good one to for you guys, so make sure you guys stick around till the end. To enter in today for an MVP++ rank, of course, all you guys simply need to do is subscribe to this channel with post notifications on because I've noticed recently 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. It's very, very much appreciated. Yeah, that big red button, tap it. Subscribe to the channel now. And of course, guys, make sure you guys comment your IGN down below and make sure to like this video. It helps push this video out to new viewers. And if this video hits 500 likes, we'll be giving away another one next episode. So getting started in today's video, guys, we are going to upgrade our bank account. So if we head on over to the banker here, we currently have 5 million coins and an enchanted gold block in our inventory. And we're going to go from the current account, which is starter, uh, and upgrade it to, uh, of course, the next tier. So boom, just like that, confirming it with the cost of five million dollars and we have upgraded our bank account making our bank limit a hundred million dollars and with this upgrade guys our projected interest rate cap has went up from two hundred fifty thousand to three hundred thousand coins so i got all the boys with me and we are gonna go trick-or-treating the uh halloween event's about to start and uh i have a strength eight potion here we're gonna head on over to the end and uh kill as many endermen as possible and see how much candy we can get by the end and folks, the event is now over, and as a little recap, we're going to head back to the private island here and show off how much candy we have obtained. And uh, I'm going to put my candy in this single chest right here, and uh, Hunneth and Safe Drift will do the same. Uh, obviously, Hunneth and Safe Drift got way more candy than I did, but uh, as you guys can see, I ended with 26 purple candy and 2 stacks and 18 of green candy. So Hunnith's going to put his in the second row, showing off how much Hunnith was actually able to obtain. And Safe is actually going to put his in the third row. And uh, my, oh my, Safe Drift, you balled out with a stack and a 22 purple candy. And Hunnith was able to actually obtain 49 purple candy. So uh, thank you, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, we're going to head on over to the Fear Monger here and buy ourselves a Bat Firework. Now, what this does is it actually shoots... Uh, pinatas up in the air so uh, we're gonna try and run away here and uh, do our own pinata here and uh, see how it goes uh, but you can't use that here uh, okay I should be able to use it right here so there we go and uh, now all of the pinatas are in the air so I just need to use my rapid runambo and uh, try and make the most out of this of course and uh, try and obtain some candy uh, and I think I got all mine stolen nice now, the first minion we are going to be upgrading to tier 11 is our Coco Bee minion. So, we're going to deposit three, or actually withdraw 300,000 coins and begin to buy a bunch of Coco Beans so that we can upgrade our Coco Bee minion to tier 11. Now, we've been crafting a lot of enchanted Coco Beans and we have seven stacks here. So, I might as well update you guys and uh, head on over to the Coco Bean minion and upgrade it. So, as it stands currently, it's at tier 7. And uh, we're going to grab these uh, 45 enchanted Coco Beans in here and start upgrading so here we go tier 8 and then on to tier 9 and I think that is about it uh, the tier 10 upgrade is going to be another eight stacks of cocoa beans which we can do and then uh, we will move on to tier 11 we're still gonna have a lot of work to do to get to tier 11 but at least we can get to tier 10 now and boom there we go so now we need to cover the tier 10 mini around with enchanted cookies which uh Oh man, it's gonna take a while. We're gonna be fighting this headless horseman, so we're gonna pot up now. I'm potting up a crit three, a strength eight, and a. Uh, oh, I guess I can't use a haste three, but here we go. Headless horseman. Oh my god, this is three million health, dude. I don't know if I could take this on. Yeah, we gotta keep it in the water. Uh, this is probably the best way we could do it here. It's a little bit stuck in the water, so it doesn't have any chance of moving. All right, so we have some people helping us out here. Uh, some by bystanders helping us out here, of course. Uh, this thing sounds scary, dude. It's got, it sounds very menacing. Uh, keep it in the pond, though. Keep it in the pond, though. Oh, it just rained me in. That's kind of scary. <laughs> now, Hunneth, what is the prize that you get from the Headless Horseman when you kill it? Uh, he can give you the spooky armor. And oh. he can give you materials that you can need to upgrate the spooky armor. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
It's at about 300,000 health right now. We're just about ready to kill it. And, uh, oh, I'm hitting the fairy soul guy. And so right. it's dead, boys. G freaking G. I got position four. Uh, so I did 215,000 damage, and I got two purple candy and one green candy. What did you guys get? Um, I think I only got the purple. I, I got a spooky shard. Oh, I got uh... Well, GG boys. I mean, still a very, very good, uh, very, very good kill, and uh, that was my first headless horseman. So that was really, really freaking dope. Oh my God, that took so long to do. Okay, uh, we are now down to the final cocoa beans necessary to do this. We're crafting up the last enchanted cookie to make this tier 11 upgrade a reality. Heading on into our ender chest here. We're grabbing the cookies. Oh my God, it's time to put this tier 11 minion to rest. Congratulations to us. The tier 11 Coco minion has been acquired. Now the next minion we're gonna be upgrading, uh, we're gonna head back to the private island here, is the ice minion. Uh, if we head on into our ender chest, we have four stacks of ice, and uh, let's upgrade this ice minion to tier 11. We placed it down, now time to upgrade to tier 10, and uh, just like so, uh, it's gonna take us another eight stacks of enchanted ice to upgrade to tier 11, which is completely easy and very, very cheap. Shout outs to this guy mocking 1VO. He was actually helping me craft some enchanted ice up here. So if we head on into our ender chest, we now have eight stacks of enchanted ice. So we're gonna head back to our private island here and uh, upgrade our ice minion to tier 11, making that the second minion that uh, we're upgrading to tier 11 in today's video. Progress is being made, and boom, there we go. Next up in our journey, we're gonna be upgrading our Iron Minion tier 10 to tier 11, and all we're simply gonna need is eight enchanted iron blocks, so uh, let's get buying, man. If we head on over to the Auction Master here, we've already made three bids on uh, some enchanted iron blocks, so that should be another four to the collection within the next hour, and uh, now we're gonna buy the rest of the enchanted iron necessary to make another four blocks. In case you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm actually just buying iron ingots off the merchant and crafting them into enchanted iron and uh as we get closer to five stacks of enchanted iron here we soon will be able to craft uh two more enchanted iron blocks so we're just about at five stacks of enchanted iron and what we're gonna do here now is we're going to make two enchanted iron blocks slowly but surely getting towards that tier 11 uh iron minion upgrade finally if we look at our bids here uh we have four enchanted iron blocks that we won so we are going to claim that and if we head back to our island we do also have five stacks of enchanted iron that we can craft into enchanted iron blocks Guys, I must say this took a lot of time and uh, to be honest, it's going to be worth it at the end of the day because again, we have another tier 11 minion and uh, there we go, 8 iron blocks and uh, boom, there we go, tier 11 iron minion. Looking at the redstone minion here, uh, we do have an enchanted redstone block in here, so we are going to collect that and looking at the other one, uh, again, we have some more enchanted redstone in there. Uh, and I think we should be able to craft some more enchanted redstone here And what we're gonna do here is we are gonna put another redstone block on the auction house trying to make some cash It's always good uh, to make money even when you have a lot uh, Like us at the moment um, But still in comparison to so many other people we we really are kind of poor but uh, we, th we have three enchanted redstone blocks here, so we're going to head on over to the hub and uh, put this up on the auction house. I think I'm going to put one up on the auction house, and this should be a nice $50,000 profit here. Maybe more. You never know when somebody's going to overbid, so we're going to make the starting bid $75,000. See if we can maybe get a steal and put it up for six hours, and uh, there we go. So it's the next day, and we're going to check our auction, and uh, boom, $86,000. Don't mind if I do. We had two bids on the enchanted redstone block, and I will take it. By the way, these guys in the hub, man, they're, they're, they're just so kind, dude. Subscribers, fellow subscribers, make sure to subscribe, guys. Join the fam. Guys, if you haven't yet already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you made it up to this point in the video, give me a hashtag tier11 in the comments down below. I appreciate all of you guys that make it to this point in the video. And I'll try and love as many of your guys' comments as possible. Guys, make sure to join my Discord, of course. Follow me on Twitter, at BenMascot. And follow me on Instagram, BenMascot with three Ts. And uh, say, or subscribe to Safe Drift. Link in the description, right, Safe? Facts. facts, facts, facts. Guys, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, peace out.